Ball on the legs. Final game for these two teams in Group L then. Oh, brilliant take straight from the kickoff and Dartford, the boys of Kent already on the front foot. That is the dream, isn't it? Straight into the bread basket from the kickoff. And away we go. Oh, that's not a great pass though. Straight into touch. It's 30 seconds gone. And already, Clare's court. Oh, that's well taken. However, illegally taken, so... Huh. Referee, just reminding Clears Court where the free kicks to be taken from. That wasn't a great pass, but it was a great pickup. Now back the other way they go. This is sharp feet. Oh, and a great fence. Here we go. The inside ball's a good one, and the try will stick. Clears Court going through the gears. Great special awareness, great running lines. And the conversion good too, clears court seven. Dartford Grammar School nil, and after that sharp start by Dartford, they find themselves under their own poles. That's a really good fend, still work to be done though. And the inside ball, top class. Oh, that's a high hanging restart, that is one. That Clears Court can take Advantage. under no duress whatsoever. So both teams Hello. have managed to claim a restart and a penalty. How about this for Clears Court? Got three tries against Collega Cumoy. They've got one already and another really good possession. They've gone to the boot early. Good, good old-fashioned grubber kick in behind. Round of what it does do now, though, is mean that you've got to defend. Behind. Such good work over the ball. on RE2. Park, School versus College on RE3. New discipline, letting them down a little bit. Oh, God, that's a short ball. Don't run onto that shoulder. Well turned over. Really good. on RE6. And the King School Grantham versus Sandbatch School on RE7. Those matches to get underway around three o'clock. Quickly. Well, it's the third game for these teams, and the willingness to engage in the scrum just gets a little bit slower as the game goes on. Neither team massively in a rush. Set. That scramble for the ball comes back the way of the Dartford boys. Little out then in, then out again, wants an offload. But manages to wriggle free from the tackle. Then the ball disrupted, dislodged. Too many loose passes by the Dartford boys, but they've got some explosive runners, some exciting runners. And no part of the pitch is safe. This is lovely balance. Advantage, knock on Hands on that from Clears Court, though, and there's another knock on advantage. Advantage over. Oh, there's just no offload available. All the time in the world now. Clears Court. Need to be careful not to infringe here because they're applying a little bit of pressure, but pressure is relieved by speed. Excellent last ditch tackle. Clears Court. Affecting the sweeper well, but then slipping off tackles. Come forward off white. And with a knock on advantage, Dartford over. into the 22 they go. The advantage is over, but they're on the front foot. You're white, looking you're for the, the score. Hands to ground, leave it. They'll close the gap with the conversion to come. Clear score hanging on here, not hanging on for much longer though. White, leave it. Superb last ditch defence, but they were called off it. Referee says penalty. And Dartford now with the width, queuing up to score it. 
It's a little wider than they might have wanted, but they are over for the first try. Conversion to come. Dartford Grammar 5, Clears Court 7. Excellent game. Five minutes gone here on RE1. Here's the conversion then to level it. Seven. Oh, the strike drifts across the face. So Clare's caught. Maintain a lead, albeit a narrow one. Replay of the try. Better safe than sorry. Could have dummied that and got under the sticks, but more important to get the five on the board. A spiral restart. Nearly taken out one of the team members who was making her way past. Thankfully, it wasn't caught on camera. Into the last minute of the half, then. This good contest clears court after their first victory of the tournament. Here's this wraparound play. Although he can't keep up with the ball carrier who gets away. Racing for the corner round the last defender. Oh, the tackle, sensational. And he's up and looking for the turnover. But now the dart at the short side. Second try for Clears Court. They extend the lead. And now just before half time, this conversion to make it a two score game. What a contest. Clears Court 12, Dart at 5. Never really in control of that strike. And the half-time whistle goes. Clears court. Got themselves a handy little lead here. 12 points to five. Second half incoming, clears court. Dropping that one into the Dartford 22 with a seven point lead on RE1. Oh, how about this for an attack? How about this for an attack? One defender to beat. Really good tackle. So clears court going for this 6 1 defense with a deep sweeper, and that sweeper has made a lot of excellent tackles. Cynical offside by clears court. They might have a seven-point lead, but they're only going to have six men on the pitch. Because that is a yellow card, and the yellow card of one of their talisman as well. So a tough period, a player down coming up. A clears court. Oh, it's a lovely delayed pass. That is straight out of the top draw. Beautifully timed. That's the try. Seconds after clears court have gone down to 12. Uh, down to six. That's seven minus one, isn't it? It's 12. 
the number of points they'll have on the board if they kick this conversion, which they do. We are level, and that's massive for Dartford. Two minutes. But this pass, just after the yellow card. There. Oh, just delayed. A couple of strange noises you might hear because uh, the mic's to pick up the atmosphere around the ground. And next to some students who, annoyingly, aren't as funny as they think they are. But, you know, it's all part and parcel of the fun, isn't it? Time is on. Ball's live. Players court 12. Dartford Grammar 12. Good contest for the ball. Referee says it's gone backwards and it's ended up in the hands of Dartford Grammar and Clears Court have switched off. They've coughed up the ball inside the 22. And Dartford Grammar whipping this ball out to the left. Two excellent passes to feed the speed. Oh, offload's good, but Clears Court got themselves in the channel. But they played that ball on the floor. 11 offside. They need to be careful. They don't go even further down. Oh, you've got to make tackles like that. It's a lovely step, but there were three Clears Court defenders. No match for the one Dartford attacker. And they lead for the first time in the match. All happens very quickly, doesn't it? They'll be back up to seven now. Oh, oh that Red, kick's not making kick. the highlights real, is it? Thirty seconds. In fact, they're not up to seven at all. It was a change they were making. Referees saying that they are still down to six for another thirty seconds. I warned you. All offside at the kickoff, though. So clears court, taking the direct route. But then the extra roll. Dartford now with some space out on the left-hand side. It's well covered, but you miss a tackle and you will get put away. Great finish. First the strength, then the explosion of speed. And that will probably see the end to this contest. Clears court brave for the first half, but the yellow card has put paid to them in this match. the conversion added and he has booted that an absolute mile so there will be slight delay in play which means we'll have another chance to take a look at this magnificent finish just that step inside last defender overcommits. Oh. yeah there's not enough space And we have had another ball. Excellent stuff. You good? I go asking for a picture, Harry. Run after it. Ball's alive. Oh my god, it's bent over. 12-24. <laughs> Clears court. Not really had a sniff in the second half. That's a lovely ball over the top. Oh, not that lovely, just forward. Intent was there. Good intent as well, but thwarted by the referee's eagle eyes. Quickly, David, David. Crouch! Still lots of great rugby to look forward to here on pitch RE1. Not that I'm wishing this Set. one away at all. Oh, Ooh, that's been knocked on. Maybe one last chance, a converted try here. Good set. Gents, hold drive for the last contest up for the last couple of minutes. Crouch! Next up, Sidcock School against Portsmouth Grammar. Set! 
Straight up. Absolutely crazy that only three games remaining after this. Sidcott School versus Portsmouth Grammar, Barton Peverill Crouch. College against Gordons. Five. We'll be hearing the Gordons Set. Pipers again. <laughs> and then Newcastle and the Lime against Seven Oaks, the men of Kent. Another nicely delayed pass. Oh, the offload so close, so close to being excellent. Into the last minute we go. And now clears college. Oh, that looks like it's gone forward, and it's got into touch. And that was probably the last remaining chance for clears court. Particularly now as Dartford Grammar. Continue into the 22. Oh, it's been turned over and then left behind and then fumbled. And it is a chaotic final few phases. Are we going to have time for the restart? Yes, says the referee. Crouch! Bye! Last Set. attack of the game clears court. Got the short side and there's no defender there. Nice step inside, really nice step inside, but the commitment by Dartford to get back and make that tackle. Needs to be quick now. Player's still offside. That fumble won't help. And that's some great defensive right, energy and the clear out absolutely monstrous. Good step inside, acceleration. Oh, just ran out of ground. Leave it. But there's no defender there for Dartford. Clears court will go in. Will they have time to convert and restart? If so, we might have one of those good old fashioned grandstand finishes. Take the kick, chop, chop, get on with it. We do have time to restart. Here we go. Clears court 19, Dartford 24. Our clock is ticking towards 15 minutes. That's why I keep calling you. And this last now, play. absolutely massive, last play. We've not had a last play winner yet. Oh, this restart is huge, needs to be high, it needs to be hanging. It needs to be in Clears Court hands, oh, it's a bit deep, but here is the chase, they can let it bounce. Where's it going to bounce? This is huge, the offload, Clears Court are under the post and they're going to have a kick to win it. Remarkable scenes, they were down and out to 24-12, they were down to six men. And they have defeated Dartford Grammar School to end their Howden Roslyn Park National School sevens with a victory that will live long in the memory. The final two plays, the final two tries and a two-point victory in the game of the day. Clears Court School 26, Dartford Grammar 24.